I'm uh, Dr. Gladys Kalema Zikusoka, founder and chief executive officer of Conservation Through Public Health, which is based in Uganda. I started out as the first veterinarian for Uganda Wildlife Authority, and while setting up the veterinary unit, we discovered um, a, skin, a fatal skin disease outbreak in the critically endangered mountain gorillas. So the gorillas got scabies or psychoptic mange, which was eventually traced to people living around the national park who have very little health care. The gorillas go into people's gardens to eat their banana plants, and we believe that's, what, that's where they collected, picked up the scabies, people leave out dirty clothing on their scarecrows, and that's most likely where they got it. And later on we realized that we can't really improve the health of the, maintain the health of the gorillas without thinking about the health of the people living around the national park. And so we started Conservation Through Public Health, which promotes biodiversity conservation by enabling people, gorillas and, and livestock to coexist by improving their health and livelihoods in and around the national park. In the wildlife veterinary field, what's even more interesting is there were no women in the wildlife veterinary field. Very, very few. It was just like, so not only was I first woman in, you know, wildlife veterinarian in Uganda, but when I look at my colleagues on the continent, there were very few women. There were hardly any women at all. So even, it was a lot of barriers to break through. But now the number of women wildlife veterinarians is increasing. I think kind of what inspires me is when you feel that each day you're making a difference and when I see change on the ground, it's good when we see people's attitudes are changing, they're adopting you know, family planning and they're taking more char in charge of their lives, especially the women, that, that really inspires me.